State lawmakers in Frankfort today for a special session. The sole purpose is to pump relief money into parts of eastern Kentucky devastated by flooding. Bodie Brooks joins us with a look at the first day. Bodie. Yeah, guys, lawmakers are wanting to move very fast on this. This will be a quick three day session that is only focused on passing one bill. Now, that's the quickest timeline that a bill technically can pass. Today, that process started with two identical bills in both chambers. This is the first step in this long process. This is a long process. The timeline for Eastern Kentucky to recover from the floods will take years. This week, lawmakers are hoping to bridge the gap in relief money until the next regular session in January. We have crafted something that we believed uh, would help begin to get our infrastructure back in place. Water, roads, sewer, electricity, so people could begin to get back in their homes or begin rebuilding their homes. This bill addresses short-term objectives for recovery, with much of the funding coming from the state's budget surplus and leftover American Rescue Plan money. The Eastern Kentucky flood relief legislation appropriates nearly $212.7 million. It breaks down to a couple of buckets. The main chunk is the creation of a $200 million state aid fund for emergencies, or SAFE fund. $115 million of that will go to cities, counties, school districts, and more to repair and replace buildings and property, $45 million to the Transportation Cabinet to repair roads and bridges, and $40 million to the Department of Education for school repairs and replacing equipment. Uh, there is the, the bicameral desire uh, to get this done as quickly as possible to send a message uh, to our friends and neighbors in eastern Kentucky. So what happens next? Well, first, the bills need to be passed out of committee. We're still waiting on that. The reason there are two identical bills is it basically allows lawmakers to move through the process faster. Eventually, one will replace the other. Lawmakers will be back here tomorrow with both chambers meeting at 4 p.m. to give the bills another reading. And if the timeline holds, it's expected to be reported out of committee on Friday, allowing both chambers to vote on it and therefore delivering it to the governor. Live at the state capitol, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.